So what happens if my electron is in a higher state and it falls back into a lower one? So here's my electron sitting up here. I got put up there, oh, a while ago. And so now it's going to fall back down. So the it's going to start here at n equals 3 and fall itself down to n equals 2. Again, what's the wavelength given off? Well, now we're going to need some more space. So my change in energy, uh, so I'm going to go from E, so I started in 3 and I'm going to 2. So E3, 2 is where, so oh, let me write a final minus initial. So my final is 2, my initial is 3, and I want to find out what energy that is. It's the energy of the photon, which is hf, but I want the wavelength because I'm an old laser guy. So energy 2 is negative 3.4 minus E3, which is negative 1.51, and that's hf. Uh, this turns into hc over lambda. For those of you who don't remember, so C is F lambda, so F is C over lambda. So now here we go. Oh, I gotta use my calculator again. Um, 1.51 minus 3.4 equals negative 1.89. HC is 1240 electron volt nanometers divided by the lambda. So now let's keep going here. Lambda is negative 1240 electron volt nanometers divided by 1.89. 1240 divided by 1.89. 656. So equals negative 656 nanometers. But wait a second. Wavelengths can't be negative. Well, that's true. All I want is the absolute value because wavelength only exists in the positive. What does the negative mean? The negative means that when that electron fell down, a red 656 photon came flying out. So the negative means that energy is released, just like energy is leaving the system, just like in thermodynamics.